Oh hi, it's your old buddy Zoo here, and today we're going to take a second look at the Trim UI Brick. Now when this first came out, I was really bullish about it, but I thought it needed some really great custom firmware to reach maximum potential. We're not 100% there yet, but we are certainly on the right path with Next UI. Zoo, what's Next UI? Well just be patient, we'll get there. Next UI started off as a fork of MinUI, and it was called MinUI Next. They wanted to keep all of the sleek, minimalistic features that people love about MinUI, but also add back some of those things that were slashed away in the name of minimalism, like box art or a game switcher mode like you'd see in Onion OS. We're still in the early days and there are all sorts of other little goodies soon to come, but let's dive in and see if NextUI is the ultimate custom firmware for the Trim UI brick. So how do we install NextUI? Well, I'm glad you asked, because MinUI and NextUI, by extension, are some of the easiest custom firmwares to mess around with. You don't even need to have an image flasher like Win32 Disk Imager. You literally download the files and drag them onto your existing SD card. Easy peasy. So let's do that here. For the brick, you're going to want to download all the files from the GitHub, drag over MinUI.zip and the TrimUI folder to the root of your SD card, and then you eject the card from your PC, plug it into your brick, and power it up. It takes a few seconds to install, then you see the boot screen, and you're done. And if they drop an update you want to snag, it is the same exact process. You drop those two items onto the card, boot your device. It couldn't be any easier, unless, I guess, they would send someone to your house, and they would do it for you, and they give you like a snack and a drink to enjoy during the, I don't know, minute and a half it took for them to do it. But that, that seems unreasonable and probably fiscally irresponsible for NextUI to do. Now that we have NextUI on here, what do we do with it? Well, if you're familiar with MinUI, the whole point is to boot up the device, show your list of games, there they are, and you start playing. I like that, because I'm one of those weirdos that actually plays games on these things. It's a minimalist, elegant, straightforward way of getting to your video games as quickly as possible. All that being said, I still kind of like box art and retro achievements. So I'm glad that the guys at NextUI feel the same way. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are coming soon, but box art and a wide variety of other cool features have been added here. I'm not gonna read the whole list, it's on the GitHub page, but here are some highlights. They've fixed screen tearing, sync stutter, and increased audio quality with a new resampling engine. Oh, and by the way, they've lowered latency. For all you people out there, they're always like, what about the input lag? It's, it's low. Those are pretty hard to show on camera, but they do contribute to a faster and smoother experience. Now for the stuff we can easily show, there's a game switcher, which everybody loves, box art, like I mentioned before, game time tracking, deep sleep mode, and a bunch of custom boot logos. So let's go through and show these off now. Game switcher. This is easy peasy, man. You just hit select. That's it. Now you're playing your game. If you want to go back out, hold menu and hit select. You're back to the game switcher. That is easy, man. It also lets you hop around between your games like everyone loves to do in Onion OS. Really, really cool. Really, really easy. You also have box art on here. Now for box art, you can either use scraper to scrape them directly onto your card, or you can take the image files that came with stock on this thing and move them into the media folders at the same time you're dragging over new ROMs or BIOS stuff. The key is that they have to go into a .media folder in each ROM folder and have the same file name as the ROM. That's pretty standard stuff. Once they're on there, then you can see your beautiful box art. Oh, box art, how I missed you. Don't ever leave me. Another cool thing in here under tools is the game tracker. This is kind of neat to see how much time you've been spending on games. Maybe you're curious. Maybe you like charts. Maybe you have a clinical thing where you just have to categorize everything. Who knows? One thing I've been doing with my oldest kid is I let her play Pokemon on her MiU Mini Plus, and then we count the time she played towards her daily reading amount they have to do as homework. I think they have to do like 20 minutes a day. And I figure a JRPG probably has as much, if not more, reading than some of those early chapter books out there. So this would be a cool tool for something like that. Or like I said, maybe you're just really uh, 
particular. You want to see, oh man, I played Royal Stone for 12 seconds. I must have booted it up twice. It's like a six seconds in between. Now, Lufia, I played that for a couple minutes. Let's see. I played it for four minutes and 44 seconds. Wow, but 16 times because I kept trying to show you how to go in and out of the game switcher. Who knows, you might be surprised how much you play certain games. Back out of there. Deep Sleep. Now this is a pretty cool feature. It's kind of hard to show. I'm just gonna let this sit for a while until it turns itself off. And while we wait, I'll let you know that this is a direct fix to something that people experience with MinUI on the brick. Now on, on MinUI, you had certain situations where you'd try to put it in sleep mode and you wouldn't actually do it. It would seem as if it was in sleep mode, but it wasn't and it would overheat. So they added this function where it actually sleeps and it's really, really good. I thought I powered this off earlier in the day. I must've just let it go into deep sleep. And then when I turned it back on to show you the boot up screen, it, it loaded the game instantly. Like I had to turn it back off just to show you the boot screen. So we're gonna let this sit here for a moment. There it goes. We're gonna wait and you just turn it back on. You're right back there. It's a lot more impressive when it's sat for like eight hours and you turn it back on and it's instantaneous. But uh, maybe, maybe I captured it on footage. Gary, if we, if we caught that earlier, show that right now. So now that we have next UI on here, what do we do with it? Boy, that popped up quick. Wait a minute. You might notice these LEDs flashing. You can also go to LED control and you can change all your LEDs. You can change your F1 key, your F2 key, your top bar up here. I have mine this glowing orange and even your L and R triggers. And there's all sorts of cool effects. Like these are breathing. You can also have them be static, blink, see? You can change the speed. You can do different blink patterns. Pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do is change your boot logo on the fly. And it ships with all these different boot logos on there, like Atari, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance's Next UI. Look, there's, there's PlayStation, regular Game Boy, Trim UI, uh, different Ataris. What's that? Some sort of corrupted Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, MinUI, and uh, I don't know what else. What? Whoa! Who are those handsome devils? Let's go ahead and set that. It's almost like you could just put a BMP file that was 1024 by 768 in the boot logo folder and it would magically appear on there. Super cool. So besides playing games on here with a slightly different MinUI interface, What's next? Well, they're already pushing out betas with Bluetooth support, and Wi-Fi can't be too far behind. So once those are up and running, we're gonna get retro achievements, we're gonna get shaders, probably some more emulators. Maybe they're gonna fold in all those packs that guy in our Discord makes. I forget what his name is off the top of my head. Put it on the screen, Gary. He's got DS and all sorts of other stuff going. They're probably gonna add functionality for these function buttons. Who knows? I know that uh, they actually have on this slider, it's a quick mute. I'll show you how that works in a second. You'd be playing a game at 50% volume, doing some sneaky gaming. Mute, automatically mute, pretty cool. But yeah, who knows what the future holds with Next UI on here. I think the interesting thing is gonna be how they balance the minimalistic nature of MinUI with all the cool things you can do on these devices. Hopefully they strike a good balance. I really hope they do, and I have high, high hopes because I really like Next UI. Well, Gary, it's time for What Did We Learn? And we learned that NextUI is the latest and greatest custom firmware for this really, really cool Trim UI brick. I've had this thing kicking around in my bag. It's in my coat pocket for a while. It's really portable. It's really powerful. It was just really lacking a wonderful custom firmware. And I think NextUI might be the one. Now, I like MinUI in certain situations. I got MinUI on my old 35XX. I got it on a couple other things. But I do like box art and I do like all the bells and whistles, which is why I really, really like the direction that Next UI is going. You have all of that great stuff from MinUI and you're starting to sprinkle in a little bit more. When this thing gets Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and retro achievements, watch out. I think the only concern would be that tension between do we throw everything in there or do we try to pare it back and be minimalistic? So you have your min and your next and there's a there's a stress between them and we just want to see how they balance those stressors i don't know if you thought i did a pretty good job balancing the stressors of this video remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz we really appreciate it we're grinding our way towards 100,000 subs and if we get there i'm going to put one of them big uh 
silver buttons in my office at work and everyone will say, what the was that? And I'll say, well, I guess you didn't know. I do a little YouTube on the side. And they'll say, Zoo, that's really cool. But I, I don't think you should have called a staff meeting to tell everyone about it. And I say, well, I got excited. I got excited. But if you get excited about all this sort of stuff, then subscribe and stay tuned. We got all sorts of crazy stuff coming. We getting all sorts of crazy antics around here. Stick around, you'll find out. I promise it'll be worth your while. All right, we'll see you later. Goodbye.